In a world where chaos reigns supreme, where external pressures threaten to crush your spirit, there exists an ancient philosophy that holds the key to unshakable inner freedom. It's not a secret formula or a quick fix, but a powerful mindset that has guided emperors, slaves, and everything in between for over 2,000 years. Welcome to the world of Stoicism, where true liberation begins not by changing your circumstances, but by mastering your mind. Prepare to embark on a journey that will challenge everything you thought you knew about freedom, as we unlock the seven timeless principles that can transform your life from the inside out. In the bustling landscape of modern life, where distractions abound and stress seems inevitable, an ancient philosophy offers a beacon of hope. Stoicism, far from being a relic of the past, stands as a timeless guide to navigating the complexities of our world. But what exactly is Stoicism? At its core, it's a practical approach to life that emphasizes reason, self-control, and the pursuit of virtue. It's not about suppressing emotions or enduring hardship with a stiff upper lip. Rather, it's about cultivating a resilient mindset that allows you to thrive in any circumstance. In this exploration, we'll delve into seven key principles of Stoicism that can unlock the doors to your inner freedom. These aren't just theoretical concepts, but practical tools that have been honed over centuries. From emperors like Marcus Aurelius to slaves like Epictetus, Stoicism has proven its worth across all walks of life. As we journey through these principles, you'll discover how to gain control over your thoughts, find peace in uncertainty, and cultivate a sense of purpose that transcends external circumstances. Whether you're facing personal challenges, professional pressures, or simply seeking a more fulfilling life, these stoic insights offer a path to true inner liberation. So, let's embark on this transformative journey together as we uncover the secrets to unlocking your inner freedom through the wisdom of Stoicism. In the grand tapestry of life, there's a crucial thread that, once grasped, can unravel the knots of anxiety and stress. This thread is the stoic principle of discerning what is within our control and what isn't. But let's approach this from a fresh perspective. Imagine your mind as a bustling city. Some districts you govern absolutely, your thoughts, actions, and reactions. These are your domains of influence. But beyond the city limits lie vast territories, other people's opinions, global events, the weather, areas where your jurisdiction doesn't reach. Now, Here's where it gets interesting. Most of us spend our energy trying to control those outer territories. We fret over a colleague's perception, agonize over political outcomes, or curse the rain on our vacation. It's like trying to govern a foreign land from your city hall, futile and frustrating. The stoic approach flips this paradigm. It encourages you to focus your energy on governing your city impeccably. Cultivate your thoughts like well-manicured parks. Manage your reactions like efficient public services. Shape your actions like architectural marvels. By redirecting your focus inward, something magical happens. The anxiety about those ungovernable outer territories begins to dissolve. You realize that true power lies not in controlling the uncontrollable, but in mastering your response to it. This shift in perspective is liberating. It's like lifting a weight you never realized you were carrying. Suddenly, you're not at the mercy of external events. You're the architect of your inner world, capable of maintaining serenity amidst chaos. So, the next time you feel overwhelmed, ask yourself, is this within my city limits? If not, let it go. Focus instead on governing your inner domain. This is where true freedom begins, not in controlling the world, but in mastering yourself. Let's dive into a stoic practice that might seem counterintuitive at first glance, negative visualization. But we're going to approach this from a unique angle that resonates with our modern lives. Imagine you're scrolling through your phone's photo gallery. Each image is a snapshot of something you value, your loved ones, your home, your achievements. Now, picture a filter that temporarily removes these photos, leaving your gallery empty. This isn't an exercise in pessimism. It's a powerful tool for cultivating gratitude and resilience. In our age of constant connectivity and instant gratification, 
We often take things for granted. The Stoics understood that to truly appreciate what we have, we need to occasionally imagine life without it. It's like adjusting the contrast on a photo to make the colors pop. But let's take this a step further. In our digital era, we can create a gratitude folder on our devices. Regularly add photos of things you're grateful for, but here's the twist, set it to hide for a day each week. When you can't access it, practice visualizing those images. This modern take on negative visualization trains your mind to appreciate what you have, even when it's not visible. This practice isn't about dwelling on loss. It's about enhancing your appreciation for the present. It's like a mental vaccine, strengthening your emotional immune system against future challenges. By regularly contemplating potential losses, you're better prepared to face actual setbacks with grace and resilience. Moreover, this practice can spark a profound shift in your priorities. When you imagine losing something, you quickly discern what truly matters to you. It's a clarifying lens, helping you focus on what's genuinely important in your life. So, the next time you find yourself taking things for granted, try this digital age negative visualization. It's a powerful way to unlock gratitude, resilience, and clarity in your everyday life. In our exploration of Stoic principles, we arrive at a practice that's gained significant attention in recent years, mindfulness. But let's approach this from a fresh perspective, one that resonates with our modern, tech-driven lives. Imagine your mind as a sophisticated smartphone. Just as your phone has numerous apps running in the background, draining its battery and slowing its performance, your mind often juggles countless thoughts, worries, and distractions. Mindfulness, in this context, is like a powerful optimization app for your mental operating system. But here's where we diverge from the typical narrative. Instead of viewing mindfulness as a retreat from the world, let's see it as a way to engage more fully with it. It's not about emptying your mind, but about upgrading its processing power. Try this. Next time you're in a meeting, scrolling through social media, or even stuck in traffic, practice what we'll call HD awareness. Just as you'd switch your video quality to high definition, consciously sharpen your focus on the present moment. Notice the subtle details, the tone of someone's voice, the texture of your coffee cup, the play of light on your surroundings. This HD awareness does something remarkable. It acts like a firewall against intrusive thoughts and emotions, allowing you to respond to situations with clarity rather than reacting on autopilot. It's like having a top-tier antivirus program for your mind, protecting you from the malware of excessive worry and stress. Moreover, this practice enhances your emotional intelligence. By being fully present, you're better able to read social cues, understand your own emotional states, and make more informed decisions. It's like upgrading your mind's RAM, allowing for smoother, more efficient cognitive processing. Remember, mindfulness isn't about achieving a state of perpetual calm. It's about developing the ability to navigate life's complexities with greater skill and awareness. By regularly engaging in this HD awareness, you're not just practicing mindfulness. You're actively upgrading your mental software, leading to deeper emotional control and clarity in every aspect of your life. Let's delve into a stoic concept that's often misunderstood. A more fatty, or the love of fate. But we're going to approach this from a fresh, modern perspective that might just change how you view life's ups and downs. Imagine your life as a complex, ever-evolving video game. In this game, you're not just a player, you're also part of the development team. Now, here's the twist, you don't get to choose all the elements of the game. Some levels are designed by external forces, some characters are introduced without your input, and some challenges appear unexpectedly. A more fatty is like embracing the role of both player and co-creator in this game of life. It's not about passively accepting whatever comes your way. Instead, it's about actively engaging with every aspect of your journey, even the parts you didn't choose or design. Think of it as adopting a plot twist mindset. When an unexpected event occurs, be it a job loss, a health challenge, or a global pandemic, Instead of resisting or lamenting, you lean in with curiosity. You ask, how can I use this to level up? 
What new skills or strengths might I develop through this challenge? This approach transforms setbacks from game overs into bonus levels. It's not about denying the difficulty of tough situations, but about finding the hidden power-ups within them. Maybe a career setback leads you to discover a passion you never knew you had. Perhaps a relationship challenge teaches you valuable lessons about communication and self-worth. By embracing a more fatty, you're not just playing the game. You're constantly improving it. You're turning bugs into features, glitches into unique gameplay elements. This mindset fosters a deep resilience and inner peace, not because life becomes easier, but because you become better at navigating its complexities. Remember, in this game of life, the goal isn't to avoid challenges or to control every outcome. It's to become so skilled at playing that you can find enjoyment and growth in every level, no matter how unexpected or difficult it might seem at first glance. Let's explore a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, the emphasis on virtue and character. But we're going to approach this from a modern, practical perspective that resonates with our daily lives. Imagine your life as a cutting-edge smartphone. Just as a phone has a core operating system that governs all its functions, Stoicism suggests that your core values should be the operating system of your life. But here's where it gets interesting. In a world of constant updates and new app releases, how do you maintain a stable, reliable core? The Stoic answer is to focus on cultivating virtues as your life's foundational apps. These aren't just abstract concepts, but practical tools for navigating the complexities of modern existence. Think of wisdom as your GPS, justice as your security software, courage as your battery optimizer, and temperance as your data management system. Now, here's a fresh take. Create a virtue dashboard for your life. Just as you might have a health app that tracks your steps and heart rate, develop a system to monitor your daily actions against your core values. Did you demonstrate wisdom in that difficult meeting? How did you practice justice in your interactions today? This isn't about perfectionism, but about conscious growth and alignment. The beauty of this approach is its versatility. In a world where external circumstances can change rapidly, your internal operating system remains stable. Whether you're facing a career change, relationship challenges, or global uncertainties, your core virtues provide a reliable framework for decision-making and action. Moreover, this focus on character development offers a unique path to fulfillment. Instead of chasing external markers of success that can be fleeting or unfulfilling, you're investing in internal qualities that provide lasting satisfaction and resilience. By treating virtues as your life's core apps, you're not just philosophizing. You're actively coding a more robust, fulfilling existence. This approach turns everyday choices into opportunities for character development, making the pursuit of a virtuous life not a lofty ideal, but a practical, achievable reality. Let's explore a Stoic principle that might surprise you. The importance of community and relationships. We're going to approach this from a fresh perspective that challenges the common misconception of Stoics as lone wolves. Imagine your life as a vast, interconnected social network, not just online, but in the real world. In this network, every interaction, every relationship, is a potential source of growth and perspective. The Stoics understood this deeply, viewing human connections not as distractions from personal development, but as essential tools for it. Here's a modern twist on this ancient wisdom. Think of your relationships as living, breathing feedback loops. Each interaction is an opportunity to practice and refine your Stoic principles. That challenging colleague? They're not just an obstacle, but a real-time training ground for patience and understanding. Your supportive friend? They're a mirror reflecting your progress and potential. But let's take this further. In our digital age, we have unprecedented access to diverse perspectives and experiences. Create what we'll call a wisdom web, a curated network of individuals, both in person and online, who challenge your thinking and broaden your horizons. This isn't about surrounding yourself with yes-men, but about actively seeking out diverse viewpoints that test and strengthen your philosophical muscles. Moreover, the Stoic emphasis on community isn't just about personal growth, it's about contributing to the greater good. In today's interconnected world, 
Your actions have ripple effects far beyond your immediate circle. By cultivating strong, positive relationships, you're not just improving your own life. You're contributing to the resilience and well-being of your entire network. Remember, stoicism isn't about emotional detachment from others. It's about engaging with your community in a thoughtful, purposeful way. By viewing your relationships through this stoic lens, you transform every interaction into an opportunity for growth, support, and positive impact. In essence, your community becomes a living laboratory for stoic principles. It's where theory meets practice, where personal philosophy becomes a force for collective good. By embracing this aspect of stoicism, you're not just working on yourself. You're actively shaping a more resilient, understanding, and interconnected world. Let's delve into a stoic practice that's particularly relevant in our digital age, reflection and journaling. But we're going to approach this from a fresh, technology-embracing perspective that turns ancient wisdom into a powerful modern tool. Imagine your mind as a sophisticated AI system, constantly processing vast amounts of data from your daily experiences. Reflection and journaling, in this context, become your personal machine learning algorithms, helping you analyze, learn from, and optimize your life's data. Here's a modern twist on this timeless practice. Create a life learning log using a combination of digital tools and traditional methods. Start with a note-taking app on your smartphone. Throughout the day, quickly jot down moments of insight, challenges faced, or decisions made. Think of these as data points for your personal growth algorithm. At the end of each day, take a few minutes for what we'll call data processing, review your notes, but don't just passively read them. Actively engage with this information. What patterns do you notice? How did your reactions align with your stoic principles? This isn't about judgment, but about identifying trends and opportunities for optimization. Now, here's where we blend the digital with the traditional. Once a week, sit down with a physical journal. Use this time to synthesize your digital notes into deeper reflections. The act of writing by hand engages different parts of your brain, often leading to new insights and connections. But let's take this a step further. Create a personal growth dashboard using a spreadsheet or a habit tracking app. Track key metrics related to your stoic practice, perhaps the number of times you successfully applied a stoic principle in a challenging situation, or how often you caught yourself before reacting impulsively. This systematic approach to reflection and journaling does something remarkable. It transforms abstract philosophical concepts into tangible, measurable progress. You're not just thinking about stoicism. You're actively training your mind's AI to become more resilient, wise, and aligned with your values. Remember, the goal isn't perfection, but continuous improvement. By treating your reflections as valuable data and your journaling practice as a personal growth algorithm, you're not just recording your thoughts. You're actively programming a more resilient, insightful version of yourself. As we conclude our exploration of Stoicism and its profound principles, it's clear that the path to inner freedom is not just a lofty ideal, but a practical journey we can all embark upon. By understanding what is within our control, practicing negative visualization, embracing mindfulness, accepting fate, focusing on virtue, nurturing our relationships, and committing to reflection, we equip ourselves with the tools to navigate life's complexities with resilience and grace. These seven Stoic principles serve as a roadmap to unlocking your inner freedom. They remind us that true liberation comes from within, from mastering our thoughts and responses rather than trying to control the chaotic world around us. In a time when external circumstances can feel overwhelming, Stoicism offers a sanctuary of strength and clarity. Now, I invite you to reflect on these insights. How can you incorporate these stoic practices into your daily life? What steps will you take on your inner freedom journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences and reflections on stoicism. And if you found this exploration enlightening, don't forget to check out our next video on practical stoic exercises that can further enhance your wellness journey. Together, let's continue to unlock the secrets of inner tranquility and live intentionally in this fast-paced world. Thank you for watching and remember, 
Your journey toward inner freedom begins with a single step.